today we have a 2008 Acura TL. We'll be replacing the rear brakes. All right, also the first thing we're gonna do to replace the rear brakes here, as you can hear it's squeaking like no other. Uh, with a number 19 sock in our impact gun, let's remove these wheels. So for this job, we're just gonna be doing the brake pads, simple swap, uh, should do the rotor soon though. Uh, so first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and just break this valve here so that we can uh, make it a little easier on ourselves since it's already bolted in. Uh, with the number 10, we're gonna break that. And then with the number 12, we're gonna come back here and remove these two bolts holding the brake caliper in place. So now that we have this off, with my brake caliper tool, I'm gonna go ahead and depress the piston here on the, on the caliper. Be sure to open this well as well to let the excess brake fluid bleed out. And we're gonna go ahead and just remove all the hardware here, here, and here, as well as obviously the brake pad itself, and get ready to replace it. And then before, we're also gonna go ahead and pull these back and remove these on the top and the bottom and grease them up again. As you can see, they're kind of dry now. It's been a minute since he's changed his. So we're gonna re-grease that, remove all the hardware and replace it after we uh, go ahead and reset the piston. So as you can see, I have my new hardware in here, brake pads, little quick pieces here as well as here. Um, quick little FYI, when getting these in, you can kind of work them into these little in between the uh, rotor and the bracket here. However, having a little time, wasting more time doing that than anything. So with a number 14 socket, I removed these two bolts here and just took the whole bracket off and then slid them in. Uh, a little easier, so I recommend doing it that way. Sorry I didn't get that on camera. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. Just two bolts, pull the whole thing off, slide it in, put it back on. Went ahead and greased this up as well. As you can see, a little grease came out. Uh, for this br little piece here, uh, I used a flathead from this direction to yank out the old one, just a little leverage, and then putting it back in, just put the flathead back on this side and pulled it in until these two clip on here. So now let's go ahead and just throw this on here. There we are. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten those number 12 back down. And then all we gotta do is pretty much breathe bleed the brakes out with the little valve or number 10 wrench here put the wheel back on and we're done so do the same concept on the other side and that's pretty much it so thanks for watching y'all please like and subscribe for more videos to come